It's in our movies. You think about the wise old owl from, from Winnie the Pooh and, and stories such as that. From music and movies to literature, owls are often seen as wise and mysterious. We do have a fascination with them. Kids see owls and they get really excited. Which is why Adam Barnett of Three Rivers Park District is hosting a program on owls this Sunday as part of the district's free family fun days at Coon Rapids Dam Regional Park. There's just going to be activities. There's going to be things for kids to do. There's going to be information about owls in particular, owls that are found here within the park, owl, owls that are found within people's backyards. There are about a dozen species of owls that can be found in Minnesota, but they can be elusive. They just really don't want to be seen. They're blending in their surroundings with their, their camouflage. Um, they're generally very, very quiet. Uh, during the nesting time, they will be more vocal, so you'll hear their vocalization and hear their, their hooting in, in some species case. One very lethal hunter that lives right in our area is the great horned owl. Well, they have a nickname, and that's the tiger of the sky. So that certainly tells you a lot about um, just how good of a hunter they actually are and good of a predator. They have all the tools. Owls are in the raptor family, and the word raptor in Latin means to seize or grasp. And that's no problem for the great horned owl. They'll eat anything from, from rabbits to skunks even. They have no sense of smell. Um, small mammals, so your, your mice and your shrews and your, your moles and your voles, they'll take snakes. Um, they'll eat a wide variety of things. From Coon Rapids Dam Regional Park, where you should come this weekend to learn about owls. <coughs> you, Neil Persley, 12 News.